this slide cast we're looking at bonds. So a bond, uh, bonds are set out in the section 3 of NZS 3910. Now a bond is an agreement whereby a third party outside of the contract known as the surety uh, promises to be responsible for one of the party's contractual obligations if that party is unable to perform them. So it acts as an insurance against default by one party. In an engineering project, for example, there is contractor's bond and principal's bond. The contractor's bond is the contractor um, the contractor takes out and uh, if the contractor doesn't can't, cannot do the work or decides not to do the work or is unable to do the work, then the surety will pay the principal um, the agreed amount of money and that money is to be spent to get the contract back on track, to hire another contractor, to have the additional work by the engineer or the consultants to find that other contract, to go through the tendering process again, uh, whatever, to get that done. Alternatively it could be spent on just negotiating a contract with someone else. It might be a bit more of an expensive contract but um, those the, the extra costs that the principal pays is covered by that bond. So there are two different types, contractors and principals bond. Contractors bond is very common. Most contracts have a contractors bond. It safeguards the principal against the contractor not being able to do the work anymore by abandonment or insolvency. Um, the way it works is the contractor pays the surety on a monthly basis. Every month he has the bond in place. Um, he's paying the surety. So it's not free and it's quite a lot of money. It's usually for 10% of the contract price. So if the contract's for a million dollars, the bond will be for $100,000. Uh, the bond isn't paid to the principal straight up. It's only paid to the principal if the contractor um, doesn't carry out his obligations. So it's, it's sitting in the surety's bank and they're saying, if something goes wrong, if they cannot do it, then yes, we will pay for it. So it's a promise by the surety. The surety is often a bank. It's not always a bank. Um, some contracting organisations are big enough to have sent up their own uh, bonding agency and this is a separate organisation separate from the contractor and it um, acts as a surety and it saves the contractor a bit of money. Um, sometimes it might be a financial institution, it might be an individual person. Um, there is an alternative whereby the contractor can just put it in a certain amount of money um, in a safe account that the contractor can use as a bond. So there's that option as well in NCDS 3910. Uh, the bond form is contained in the third schedule and it's worthwhile having a look at that. Um, the bond is released when the contract is complete. So when the contractor has fulfilled all of his contractual obligations um, up to the issue of the practical completion certificate, then the bond is released. And the way that's done is the engineer sends a letter to the surety and says, um, the contractor has fulfilled all of his obligations, you may now release the bond, which means that the bond is no longer in place, the contractor does not have to pay for it. A rarer version of a performance bond is a principal's bond. This is where the principal puts the bond in place to protect the contractor. Same thing works, uh, same thing, there's a surety. If the principal reneges on payment or doesn't fulfill his obligations, then the surety will pay the contractor an agreed amount of money. Um, as I said it's very rare but it might be put in place that it might be a condition of the contract. The contractor might uh, want to go and want to do the contract works but he thinks oh that principal's a little bit dodgy. Um, he, you know, his financial situation is a bit precarious. If we were to do the works we want to protect ourselves so we're going to ask them to put a bond in place so that if they do tip over because they are financially a bit dodgy then um, we've still got ourselves covered. Um, the principal might say, no, not going to happen, so then the contract's not formed. So that concludes the, um, the slide cast about bonds. It's What you need to know is what, what they are and that the contractor's bond is the one that we usually put in place.